Welcome to day 12 of Vlogist. Tonight I'm going out to dinner and this restaurant I'm going to I know serves enormous portions and they also have a huge menu with lots of choices. So today is going to be all about healthy choices because when I get there I'm going to have to decide what I think is appropriate for the Mediterranean diet and then I'm also going to have to decide when to stop eating. Because they're the type of restaurant when you order something you get a cup of soup and you get a salad and then you get a free dessert and the portions are huge. So really when you when you finished with the soup and the salad, you could probably stop there and be satisfied. Um, so we'll see what I find to order tonight. Because I'm not really doing anything in the kitchen today, I thought I would take you into my kitchen and do some crafting. I used to make soap. Um, I still do once in a while. I, I really do it for my personal use now, but I had an, I have an Etsy shop that I haven't stocked in a long time. And I thought it would be fun to give my Etsy shop a rebrand and to start making some products that are Italian inspired. Um, so today I'm just gonna make some simple soap. It's not lye soap from scratch. I'm gonna use a soap base and add some color and some fragrance and just show you how easy it is that you can have how to make soap at home. Um, and then maybe it'll even end up in my Etsy shop. <laughs> so come along with me for the day and we'll see where it takes us. of soap holds two pounds so I cut it in half so I know I have one pound of soap and I cut it into small chunks because I'm going to melt it down in a double boiler you can also melt it down in the microwave but I prefer to use a double boiler so I use this soap cutting tool and I cut it into these chunks and I always lay down wax paper on whatever surface I'm using just to protect the surface and to keep things easier to clean up so I'm melting the soap chunks in the double boiler. So what I do is I first heat the double boiler up, the water in the double boiler, and I put the top on, and then I turn the heat source off, because you don't want the soap to get too hot. It's plenty hot now to melt the soap. And I have an entire pound of soap in this small container. So I'm just stirring that around and make sure that all the chunks get melted through. And I always use a plastic spoon, because when I'm done, I just chuck it, and it really saves time with cleaning up. These are the fragrances I'm going to use. So I have one called Champagne, but to me it kind of smells more like ginger ale soda. So I'm gonna add a little bit of jeweled citrus, which is a nice sparkling citrus scent. I think when I combine the two of them, it smells a little bit more like actual champagne. And then I have this Soapy Love soap colorant, and this is Fiery Fuchsia. And I'm gonna put um, a drop, maybe two drops in, we'll see how it changes the color because I don't want it to be super pink I want it to be a pale pink like champagne would be even though it's a white soap and it's gonna look creamy I still think it'll make a nice presentation now our soap appears to be completely melted and make sure you always stir gently because you don't want to introduce bubbles into your soap so I'm going to now add the fragrance so I use these little plastic droppers and they actually have measurements on them if you want to know exactly how much you're putting in we'll start with the champagne fragrance I always start with a little bit because you can always add more, but you can't take it out if you make it too strong. So let's stir that in. As I do a nice little figure eight pattern. So I'm gonna put another round of that in. Give that a stir. It's a really nice scent, but it doesn't quite smell what I think champagne should smell like. So now I'm adding the jeweled citrus fragrance. Not all fragrances are going to be clear, so that's something to be mindful of when you're coloring your soap. So I'm gonna stir this in. Give it a little figure eight. So this color comes with its own dropper. I'm gonna add one drop and stir that in and see what it does to the soap, because it's pretty intense. Make sure you get it all around from the outsides and off of the spoon. And just keep stirring until you see that it's well blended. But I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's a very pale pink. Just keep stirring gently until you know that it's all combined. See, it's still a little bit on my spoon there. So I'm just gonna keep stirring. And I don't think I'm gonna go any darker with this. I don't want it to be, you know, like Pepto-Bismol pink, because this colorant is pretty intense. So I think that one drop has done the whole pound. Okay, let's 
So give it one final sniff and then we'll see if we're ready to pour. with some alcohol that takes the bubbles away from the top. And this is 99% rubbing alcohol. And now we just let them harden. And then we'll pop them out of the mold. And that could take about a couple hours to make sure these are pretty big bars. So it might take a couple hours before they get hard enough to pop them out of the mold. that was day 12 thank you for joining me as you can see for dinner I chose salmon for my entree and it was glazed salmon which I thought would be teriyaki glazed but it was actually honey glazed it was very light um, and it was very good um, I only ate half of it and I took the other half home and I also took my dessert home which I chose chocolate pudding and I'll have that uh, some other time <laughs> um, so Overall, um, when you go out to eat, it's just important to make the right choices and it was so much food that there was no way I could eat all of that salmon. It was a huge piece of salmon. I can get an entire another meal out of it. And I just want to talk to you for a minute about choices because all day long we make choices. Your life is a series of choices that you make. and From what you put in your body to what you put on your body to what you do all day, what you choose to wear, who you choose to associate with, how you choose to feel about things. Um, so think about that because your choices are what make up your life and your choices are where your talents lie. And make the healthiest choices that you can. I could have gotten a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> um, I could have gotten as a side dish french fries or they had mac and cheese and I love all those things. But I chose mashed potatoes and I chose broccoli with some garlic because I just thought it would be healthier and it was delicious. So for this month I'm trying to make choices that I think would be as Mediterranean as possible and as healthy and low calorie as possible and salmon is a great choice on the Mediterranean diet because it's full of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and I chose to go out instead of to cook all the time because you get a little burnout on cooking. And uh, I just chose to, to chill out and, and to take my time with dinner and um, it's all about the choices. So think about what choices you've made recently and how you can improve your choices and where you want to be um, in the next few days, few weeks, few months, few years, and what choices you can make today that can make that future happen for you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.